Hello everyone, I'm Akash Nawani and I'm going to talk to you about email marketing via MailChimp. So MailChimp is one of the tools which a lot of people are using to manage their uh, user base, their subscription list as well as send out email marketing campaigns using it. It has a very easy to use interface and a very good design and the website looks really good. It's easy for you to understand how the workflow is and to create campaigns. So uh, they have a free sign up process. As you can see, they provide up to 12,000 free emails a month for up to 2000 subscriber lists. So you can just sign up. It's a quick process. I've already created an account. So I'll just log in and then let's start the process. I'll, I'll show you the basic things needed to get started with MailChimp and to send out a campaign. And later there's a lot of advanced features as well, which you can explore as you go. So, okay, I'm not sure why it's asking for this. Oh, okay, I'll just do it later. All right, so this is this is a dashboard. This is where uh, you would basically have this as well. Uh, so there are three simple steps to get you started. As you can see, first, it tells you to create a list. A list is basically a list of people who have either subscribed to you or your contact base, your clients, etc. So you can provide MailChimp with that list. So they have a lot of easy ways for you to create the list. You can either create an Excel file and upload it or you can do it manually as well if you want to enter. So first create a list name. So let's give a good name. Let's say uh, drop my email client list. So these would basically mean all the people who are customers for your company. So default from name, which you would want to show up together with your email address when you send it. So let's say drop my email T. Default reply to address. So this is the address when someone hits reply to their email. This is where you would get the email. So let's say info at drop my email dot com. The default subject you can leave this for now because every campaign you would have a different subject so if you want you can provide a default subject if not it's better you have a separate subject for each of the campaign so that it makes sense for the user when he receives it to know what's happening uh, a reminder on how people got onto your list so this is important uh, to make sure to prevent you from this uh, anti-spam act etc so these are clients so basically let's just put in that clients of drop my email so in case you're creating a uh, sign up list on the website you can say people who've signed up on my website then uh, company name and all it all automatically comes in when you sign up your account so they fill in all the details and uh, there are a lot of other options as well you can explore as you go let's just move on and see how we can create a list how do we add people to the list that's the next step basically so uh you can either import contacts or you create a sign up form as creating a sign up form would basically mean you can uh, put a form on your website like a subscription list kind of a thing they'll give you a small code for you to do this and as as people keep adding themselves to the list it'll automatically go into your drop my email client list right import contacts uh, they have a lot of different ways to do it you can upload files or you can directly copy paste it from excel as well you can get it from a lot of other places like salesforce or your google docs zendesk and this is the option to upload a file or copy pasting of an excel so uh is the some of the main things which you would need while you're uploading a list is the email address field and the name of the person uh, it's better if you split it in first name and last name as well. So it has better controls for you later. So there's a lot of different ways you can explore this. Uh, let's go back to our dashboard. So let's assume that we've created a list and we've added a lot of people. Uh, secondly, then you want to design your template. Uh, designing a template, there's a lot of different ways you can. Uh, so let's go to my templates. This is where you can design your default basic template of how your mail campaigner is going to look like uh, they have the options you can select a basic or a pre-designed one something like this with an image and text on it or 
you can code your own as well so you can code your own template uh, one advice if you're coding your own template avoid dev tags do not use dev tags you should mainly use tables so that uh, it's cross compatible across most of the email clients that's one of the things which I've come across with my experience that using diff tags at times causes issues with MS of uh, Microsoft Outlook and a few other email clients if you say right uh, but let's so you can create your own template you can uh, explore this it's it's helpful if you create your own template so that later on you can use the same template the same common way for you to send out campaigns just the main text would change but the whole design of maybe having your company's logo on the top and a common footer would be the same uh, if you see they have a design sign up form the design sign up form they're emphasizing on this because that's the way you would basically collect uh, email addresses of people so they they have a lot of different code forms which you can look into simple codes which you plug into your site and you can keep uh, updating your list and the good thing about this is as you add people to the list from your forms they would automatically get emails from MailChimp uh, saying that you've been added to the list and uh, if they unsubscribe they'll get an auto email saying oh you've been unsubscribed from the list they manage all these really well themselves and they provide you the flexibility to change the text messaging which goes out in the email so that's that's a lot of things for you to explore it's very simple to do that but let's go to the main thing let's assume that we've created a list and now we are creating a campaign so if you see this, they have a lot of options a regular campaign is a campaign with uh, like a HTML based campaign with an option of having plain text as well uh, a plain text campaign is a campaign which is only in the form of text so if you do not want to include images or good formatting tools then you can just use a plain text campaign a B split campaign this is helpful if you want to do an A B testing to see which of the two templates work or which of the two messaging works so you can split and uh, send your two different kind of emails to the same list split half and half or a small percentage as you want to make your split and RSS driven campaign so you can explore this as well but Jenny you would use a regular old campaign so let's go ahead with this so uh, it'll ask you which list you want to send it to let, let me select this second list which I created basically it includes me there's an option called send to segment this is also helpful so there's a lot of ways for you to basically if you have a huge list and you want to send it to a, only a few people from the list MailChimp helps you to basically exp uh, take out certain people from the list based on certain criteria so maybe it is for people who you've added after this particular date or based on email addresses so there's an option that email address is this particular thing you can type in that email address or people with a common last name or locations etc so there's a lot of different ways in which you can do this uh, right now let's just send it to everyone and then move on so next step is a drop uh, drop my email client coupon offer so I'll, if you want to send a coupon to all your clients so this is your campaign name that's irrelevant that's only for your own information the email subject is the subject which the client sees on his email uh, client so you can basically put in something like uh, special offer special offer for drop my email customers so uh, or drop my email clients so this is important make sure you have a really strong subject line because that would decide whether the person opens the email or not and make sure it's uh, compatible with all the spam activities because it might end up in your trash in the uh, in the user's trash so you want to avoid that uh, from name drop my site you can change it to whichever you want or you can put drop my email as well uh, reply to address what address would it come to in case the customer hits reply so you can change this as well uh, 
here's some merge tags merge tags are really good it's one of the good features of mailchimp what merge tag basically lets you do is uh, pick up certain columns from your list which you've which you've created and put it in so it'll automatically merge it for example the first name so if, instead of first in, uh, putting the name of the person all the time you can't do it because you're creating a template so you just put in this tag the copy paste this tag and it will automatically replace the name of the person based on the email address to whom you're sending to there's a few other but uh, one thing to keep in mind is the unsubscribe link this is very important because every email should have an unsubscribe link it is to make sure you're, you complement yourself with the anti-spam act uh, if you don't put it in MailChimp will automatically create a footer based on this which will have the unsubscribe tag so they would automatically plug in it and you can do some tracking they help you do tracking it and it helps you to know how many emails were opened how many clicks were there if you have any clickable items on your uh, particular email campaign and there are a few other options you can link it to Google Analytics etc so right now we'll just move on <laughs> Okay, so you need a verified uh, email address. I've already verified particular email address, so I'll just use this and move on. But uh, whatever email address you need, you you're gonna be using it. They would want to verify it, so they'll send you a small email and you can get it verified. Uh, so next is to create your template how you want it to be. You can create your own template, or you, or you can use some of the pre-designed one. Uh, let's say the drag and drop I'm gonna just show you how to use the drag and drop it's a very simple and easy to use tool so you basically first select the template type let's say I want a uh, one column banded you can have two columns three columns there's a lot of different options so while this loads okay so uh, you can basically create add images to this so I might have an image here or you can basically upload it so let me just upload an image so for example this particular image I'll, I'll just upload it you can also get images from uh, different websites or URL you can just plug in the URL and it will pull it uh, so this is basically giving you information of what you can do. Let's, let's just delete this one. And let's add a border text. So this is the border text. You can update your text saying, hello. So here is where you would want to put the name of the person so that's where the merge tag comes into play if you click down you would see a merge tag option and you can say first name so it will automatically replace the person's name with the first thing uh, let's say let's just say your order has been confirmed thank you now uh, so you can just save this you can uh, explore further if you see there's a common footer which they've uh, MailChimp has put in where they've put in how you got the particular email address to your list and uh, unsubscribe link as well you can edit it and you can change it as as per your needs it's a very simple way to do it and if you see this is a preview column where it will basically show the customer the top it, it appears beside the subject if you see G, on gmail gmail shows the subject and part of the email text so this is what would show up there so let's say order confirmation another great thing about mailchimp is if you see it it automatically adds this thing view the email in browser link that's a very good way uh, it creates a static page with your content as well and it puts it out there so it's easy for the customers in case it's not rendering well, rendering well on their particular email client they can actually view it there so let's save this so you can go ahead uh, further and explore how you can basically change your template design you can use a lot of different fancy things like 
an image group etc social icons and stuff so let's just move on let's say this is our particular template uh, another great thing which mailchimp does is it automatically creates a text only version of your template so some clients do not support images or html emails so then it uh, mailchimp lets it auto decide and then it selects the text version which is here and it lets you it shows this particular version so uh, what you can do is you can edit it so in a text version this does not make these two lines don't make sense you just start off with hello your order has been confirmed you can edit it you can add more things to it and again merge tags would work well with the text was it version as well uh, so that's it you're done uh, there's a small issue here I guess my list is empty so I'll just so okay I've added the sub segment I've, I'll remove the segment so that's it it's it's very simple we are done I just go to the confirmation tab which is here And as you see, everything is sorted and now we can just send it. Another great thing is you can schedule as well. You can select a particular time and day on which you want to send your email blast out. Or you can preview it as well in case you want to see how it looks like. So you can send a test mail, you can provide whichever email address you want to send a text mail, it will do it for you. So that's, that's about it. You can just click uh, let's remove the schedule option let's just say send now are you sure about sending the campaign yes so that's it uh, your email is on your way and the customer would receive it based on when you've scheduled it or if, if it's immediate so after you've sent your campaign the next thing is the reports uh, again a really good way of showing reports by MailChimp so this is the campaign which I have sent out so you can just click on it. So as you can see we have sent out to one recipient, the person is unopened. It will show you how many uh, people have opened your emails and how many have not. A few great things here is it shows you based on the industry which you select while signing up, what's the success open rate, what's the uh, unopened rate, what's the open rate, what's the benchmark uh, click rate for your industry so it tells you it gives you a comparison of how your your campaign is per, per, uh, performing as compared to other campaigns by other people so and if there are people who are unsubscribing from your list it gives you their list as well uh, if someone clicks on yours as a spam so it, it shows that someone has made a complaint that your particular email campaign is a spam and it shows you which locations people are opening the email from as well so there's a lot of other great uh, reporting tool as well you can actually link it to some of your uh, if you're an e-commerce store you can link it to your store and you can see how whether some orders are being placed or not they have a e-commerce 360 uh, this is a very good feature by them you can set it up and try it out as well if you're an e-commerce store so that's about it uh, basic things of mail campaign creating a list may uh, you can use forms to get people to sign up on your website you can create your own templates or you can just use the default templates as well and you can send out campaigns and then you can uh, check out your reports based on how your campaigns are performing and then auto responders that's one more thing you might want to look into are uh, that's only for basically for paid accounts but what auto responders is is uh, when someone unsubscribes from your list it sends out an auto response to them that you've been unsubscribed so this particular feature will help you edit that email out and write in you know, your own text add images to it as well so change it to an html format with your company logo etc if you want to do those things so that's what auto responder lets you control and change Another thing, if you if you want to see uh, Mailchimp integrates well with Salesforce and some of the other CRM tools, so it helps you to import your uh, contact list, etc. So it's a great tool. It has a lot of good features built in. So you can, I I would personally suggest Mailchimp as one of the good uh, ways for you to manage your customer list and for your campaign. So that's about it from me on Mailchimp. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.